You're watching the Football Radio Show. We're not the suits that talk football. We're the dudes that know football. Here's your hosts, Casey and Dave. Hello and welcome to 3 and Out, where we take a look at three of the most compelling games on the NFL schedule. But Casey! Wild card weekend, baby. Let's go ahead and add to it. <laughs> We're going to cover all four games. We're going for it on fourth down. Number all four. All right, Saturday we got the Oakland Raiders at the Houston Texans. The Texans are three-point favorites at home. This is a rematch from a Week 11 game that the Raiders won, 27-20. few changes at the quarterback position, <laughs> making this the most unsexy yeah. playoff game of all time. <laughs> Certainly uncertain at the quarterback position. Just not too long ago, it was Derek Carr lighting it up for the Brutal, Raiders. Dude. Unfortunately, he got uh, his leg broken, and then Matt McGloin took over in Week 17. He got messed up. We don't know who's going to go, whether it's going to be Matt McGloin or uh, – Cook in this one. Connor Cook, a rookie. Wow. Wow. It's uh that's a tall order. Raiders, good luck with that one. Yeah, it's not any easier for the Texans. In week 17, Tom Savage left with concussion like symptoms. Osweiler came in He's there. Back. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they still lost to the the Titans, who didn't really have much to play for. So QB right. controversy there. Who knows? Lamar Miller, he didn't play week 17. Don't know if we're gonna see him. This is uh, this is not what the NFL wanted. Yeah, too bad we can't like the college case. You just vote in the team we want to see. <laughs> yeah. We can have Andrew Luck and the Colts in this yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> I vote for that. Do that, please. More Number of that. Three. Okay, that's not the case. NFL football. Moving on. Saturday night, Casey. It was. It's going to be the Detroit Lions at the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks in this game favored by seven and a half. Yeah, man. It looks like these Detroit Lions might be finally running out of gas. Had eight come from behind victories during the season. Mm -hmm. Got pounded by the Cowboys week 16. Lost the NFC North Championship game at home to Green Bay week 17. Yep. They got to get right, but that is an explosive <laughs> offense. Golden Tate going back to Seattle, man. There's going to be some yeah, fireworks. Nice. Yeah, you know what? This, uh, this Seahawks team, uh, you know, they've been to two out of the last three Super Bowls. They know how to get things done. I really like what Russell Wilson does when it's crisis time. He knows how to make plays. Um, this Seattle team is so good at home. Yeah. They're just going to ramp it up, man. It's going to be tough. It is going to be rocking, Number baby. Two. <laughs> All right, up next, we have the Miami Dolphins at the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the Dolphins won week six. They pounded the Steelers 30 to 15. But this time, the Steelers are nine and a half point favorites. Yeah, home. wow. Uh, that's, a, that's a big margin, Casey. But uh, you know what? This, this Dolphins team is playing with a backup quarterback. The theme of backup <laughs> quarterbacks comes into play again here wow. uh, versus quarterbacks that have been to the Super Bowl and oh. stuff like that. This is Matt Moore. He is a, is a seasoned veteran, and yeah. he is a quality backup quarterback. And the Dolphins have a very strong running game, good offensive and good defensive lines. Uh, they're going to be – this is going to be tough, but it's going to be a tough situation going to Pittsburgh. It's going to be a tough game. Yeah, and the Steelers, man, with Big Ben, Love Bell, and Antonio Brown, one of the most dynamic offenses in the league. They're getting D'Angelo Williams healthy again. That's a yeah. nice one-two punch of running back. Defense is playing a little bit better too, and you mentioned the pedigree of the Steelers, man. That is a playoff team with tons of experience. Number one. Ooh. All right, up next, Sunday Night Football. It's the New York Giants at the Green Bay Packers. Packers – at Lambeau Field, favored by four and a half. Wow, Woo! man. This Good is, game. Yeah, this has been an awesome playoff game in the past. The Giants really didn't have much to play for week 17. They knew they were in. They did uh, play their starters, ended the Redskins season. Um, looks like they might have finally found a run game coming off their best rushing performance of the year. Rookie Paul Perkins out of UCLA. We've seen this guy play a lot. Yep. Finally, the Giants have given him. him some totes. He yeah. was impressive week 17. See if they can keep it going. They need all hands on deck to go into Lambeau, bro. <laughs> it's going to be a great football game. But, you know, the Green Bay Packers did beat the Giants in week five. So this is a rematch. Uh, obviously, this Packers team is playing excellent football. They felt like they needed to run the table six weeks ago. That's six wins in a row for Aaron Rodgers and this Packers team. They know how to turn it on. Scrambling around Packers. Uh, Aaron Rodgers making plays. This is going to be a hell of a football game, people. Cannot wait to see it. We want to know what games you guys are stoked for. Head on over to YouTube, subscribe to the Football Radio Show YouTube channel, and comment below with what teams you think are going to win in Wild Card Weekend, baby. All right, that's going to do it for three and out. <laughs> He's Casey. I'm Dave. We're the Football Radio Show. Enjoy the Wild Card Weekend, people. <laughs>